from the bottom to the top. Once we start, we don't stop. It's Eskimo Cold, Eskimo Cold Beats.com. This is a video on how to get above the competition in the music game. <laughs> Yeah, look around, you know, part of my job and what I do is to look around and see what's going on. You know, I like to consider myself a music consultant as well as a music producer, so I'm not only looking for talent that I can get on my beats and people to put my beats forward to, I'm also looking for gaps in the market and what people are doing wrong. A big problem that I see, personally, is there's too many Indians and not enough chiefs. I mean, the logic that the game and people in it, I find with rappers especially, is it's very much monkey see, monkey do. I mean, nobody, or people do, but a majority of people will not come out of the box. They'll just repeat the same formula that has been used over and over and over again. Now, when somebody comes up with a new formula, obviously that person, as long as the talent matches the idea and the effort they're putting out there, they blow up. Now, the next few people who follow that formula, as it's a new formula, they, they stand a good chance of blowing up too. Now, the thing is, when a few people have come through off that formula, the next few people that try after that, you know... If, and then it dips off and anybody who's just doing the same old thing gets the same old results and is stuck in the same position as, as everyone else who's trying to do the same thing. So how do we combat that? Well, you need to be thinking of what everyone else isn't doing. You know, you're so focused on what people are doing. Open your eyes, open your mind and figure out what people aren't doing because that's the key. The only way to beat I say beat and competition, but you shouldn't be in a, a, in a competitive state with these people, with these other artists. What I really mean is to put yourself forward, regardless of whatever position they're in, to put yourself forward, you're going to need to come up with some new ideas, new techniques. And see, the formula now is you just make a track, you put it out, you spam a lot of walls, you spam a lot of Facebook groups, you spam, 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 and then wonder why you don't get any results. Now, if you think about the real rappers, the one, what I mean by real rappers, I mean like the, the certified mainstream or whatever, the people who have achieved big things off their music, they've done everything. They've started where a lot of you are now, and then realized that they need to progress, so they'll add a new element in, they'll do a new thing. Don't get caught in the cycle of doing the, the same old thing. So what I'm going to do is drop a few ideas on you. Now, some of them are more necessary than others. Some you can survive with, without, sorry. Some uh, are necessary if you want to take it to the, the kind of levels you're imagining you want to take it with. So these are just a few ideas on how you can, these are things that I don't see many people do. I do see some people doing them, or a combination of some, but the ones who get all of these down are on a good path. And there's more, but I want to save material for, for other videos, so let's go. Right, you need to be leveraging collabs with bigger artists, with bigger fan bases that are doing bigger things. Now, it's going to be hard to get these collabs in because they're not going to see you as their level, you know, because you're not, you haven't put in the work or developed the fan base like they have. So a few ideas on how to get these people on, on side is to show them support, back them up, and then give them a chance to listen to your music also. You're going to need to bring something to the table that's going to benefit, benefit them more than it benefits you. And that's how you're going to get these big collabs. When you're talking to them, don't be like, I this, I that, I this, I that. Use more 
kids. Use the word you more. Put the focus on them. You know, you, we, these kind of words. You know, where it's, it seems more of a... The more they get used to the idea of you two doing something together, the more likely that's going to happen. And show them you deserve to rank with them by skill-wise. You know, the, a combination of those things are going to make a, co a collaboration with a bigger artist a lot more likely. Submit all your music to as many blogs as you can as often as possible. It's going to be a long process. You're going to feel like you're not getting on. But eventually you will start seeing your stuff appearing on these blogs when they see how much work you're putting in. Okay, you also need to be finding out who's popping near you. You know, make friends with the people in your area that are popping because unity is strong. I mean, let's look at Chicago. For a while they went quiet. Back in the day they had their Commons, their Kanye West, you know, a lot of different people. But now it's popped off again through unity. You know, a big squad of people, multiple squads coming together and, and the whole city having a buzz. It's just so powerful, you know. Be doing that in your area, you know. Build up relationships, build up squads, teams. You're laughing. It will happen by kicking in the... You can bully your way in. Bully's a bad word, but you can, you can force yourself into the limelight, so to speak. Now, when it comes to building a team, which is very crucial because it's nice to think that we can be a one-man army if we need to be, but at some point other people are going to have to get involved. Now, a team can consist of more artists, you can get more artists in your team, you can get some producers, graphics designers, cameramen, video editors, website programmers, lawyers, you know? Just, you could have law students that you get involved in, in what you do. You could know law students from school or, or that have gone on to do law and whatever. You know, there's a place for everyone in your team if you think right. And you need to have all the bases covered, everything in-house or everything's just going to get too expensive. Now, if you're all working towards the same goal and bringing in a big pot of money that you split, that's a lot better than you getting your money and then just giving it out to people that aren't going to be using that money to further contribute to the goal. Okay? You need to be doing gigs in your city and then spreading out. You know, when you get a name for doing a good show in your city, people are going to hear word of mouth. It's going to spread, you're going to get a buzz. So you're going to be able to go further afield until you go into other cities, other states, other countries. You know, that's how it all starts to develop. Um, you need to be sending your music to radio stations on a regular basis, the same way with the blogs. You just keep sending it, keep sending it, Keep sending it until it happens. It will happen. Perseverance, stay motivated, you know, consistency, momentum, all these things. It's going to happen for you. If you're doing the right thing and you've got the talent to back it up, you're going to see good things. And make sure you're getting professional music videos and visuals to go with your music. None of these picture videos and, and all that crap, you know, they want to see you, they want to see your face, they want to see your crew, they want to see where you're from. They want you to represent yourself. So yeah, there are a few tips, you know, a bit of mindset to it as well. Hope you find the benefit in this video. If you could like, comment, subscribe. You know the score, Eskimo Cold, EskimoColdBeats.com. From the bottom to the top, once we start, we don't stop. Peace.